All right, my wonderful science students, here we are with the second part of the nature of science, lesson two, part two, scientific investigations. Now, today I really wanted to focus on a science lab, but I can't really do science labs with you and we're not in person, so I'm going to do the next best thing and this might actually be better. So, this is an amazing YouTuber named Mark Rober. A lot of you have probably already seen this before. I am putting this into a Nearpod. These slides, I'm keeping the same. I want you to be able to do this in the time frame that's allowed. This is like a 20 minute video and I filled it with questions to answer about the scientific process as you go along so it starts to get into your head. You're gonna watch the video and then it's gonna to come to questions. You won't know where the questions are in the video until you watch the video, but it's entertaining. I'm sure you will like it. Now, that said, the, um, the, uh, what we're looking at here, what I want you to pay attention to, he has a problem. He's using his background knowledge and he states a problem. Then, He's going to create a hypothesis. He is going to test for this. He's only going to change one thing. That is the independent variable. And he takes a lot of time and energy to make sure that everything else stays the same. The liquids are on the same types of surfboards. They drop at the same time. They're equal distance apart. This is all very important for a scientific process to work. So... To do this, okay, as I was saying before the dogs interrupted me. So um, we are looking at this and, okay, so what is happening? He wants to keep everything the same. Everything the same. He takes a lot of time and energy to do this because if he changes multiple things, he won't know anything about the water. Pay attention to control. What a control is, he just keeps one thing normal. Because if one thing stays normal, then you're going to be able to register everything around it. Maybe sharks are just naturally attracted to the surfboards. Ooh, it's kind of scary when you think about it. But um, that is what a control is for. The constants are everything that is kept the same in this experiment. He tries very hard to keep all the constants the same. Also, he is really trying to, and I forgot where I was because the dogs interrupted me again. The dogs are in the dog house right now. Um, also, every experiment is going to make you think of a new experiment to do. That's exactly what happens here with Mark Roper. He says, oh, this happened, but now I'm curious about this. So there are two separate experiments in this. One is the first experiment, but then he takes it to another degree. He keeps analyzing and looking at things. And is this hypothesis correct? Remember what I said, hypotheses are not always correct. So he is a firm believer in the scientific method. He does use some qualitative data where he's looking at things. And there is quantitative data where he is counting things. They also analyze data with graphs. That's something we'll talk about at a later date. But this is a great example of a sci the scientific method of scientific experiment. He is a 100% a scientist and he's a great constructor of things. The guy can flat out build things. Um, so enjoy the video. Answer all the questions. Thank you.